our family and friends. Welcome to the fam. Uh, welcome, welcome to the work nation. Our national factory truth, where we feel free to share knowledge and spread the knowledge of factory truth without fear, without favor, and without faint. How are you doing today? I hope you are doing great wherever you are, living your life and enjoying it because it's your life. You were born to live, explore, and enjoy your life. You owe no God your life. You, know, you owe no date your life. It is your natural life and it's eternal. It is great. Oh. So, you're welcome. Uh, I want to share with us what I titled The Worship and the Word. And you already know who I'm talking about. The things. People that believe in supreme being. People that believe. I didn't say no. They never know. Nobody know any supreme being. All of them is just a claim. They believe. And it's a shame that somebody is telling you about a God. They believe is almighty, can do all things. So if this God can do all things, why are you speaking for it? Why are you fighting for it? Why are you a smart peace? Some say God sent them. For <laughs> where? <laughs> a God that sent you is not almighty then. That God sent you because he cannot do it. If he can do it, he don't have to send you. Like if I can treat myself, I don't need to go to any doctor. I can't say I go to doctor just to let doctor work. No, it's because I can't treat myself. I, that's why I go to doctor. If I can treat myself, I will not go to doctor. If I can fix my car, I will not go to any mechanic. So, but if I can fix my car, like every other mechanic can fix it, why should I go to any mechanic for what? <laughs> that, if I go to mechanic, that means I'm, I'm not what I claim to be. So, people that believe in God, God Almighty, Allah Almighty, Jehovah Almighty, Jesus Almighty. Although all this uh, nonsense they claim to be Almighty never show up themselves to speak. They are the one always speaking for that God. You know, they believe also, they, will, they don't know now, but when they die, that's when they will know it. They say, what manner of love has the Father bestowed on, on, on us that we should be called the children of God? He said, no, we do not know him now, but we know <laughs> when he appear, we will be just like him. It's a stupid thing they write. And you see people living by what is written. We are not what is written, and we shouldn't think within what is written. We should live, think, do everything beyond what is written. Whoever penned down the one you are, read, read, uh, you, are, you are reading, does that person have two heads? You can write better one. Why are you depending your life, your joy, your happiness, your, even, even your whole well-being on a book written by someone or some people? Come on, wake up, people. So these people that are saying they believe in God, I believe in God, I believe in... That's why I don't. I can never argue with them. Anyone that believes in God, I, there's, I, it's just a waste of time arguing with you. You say you believe in God, you say there is God. I want to argue with God directly, not with you, stupid person who is speaking for Almighty God. The God you say has mouth, he speaks to you. But that God cannot speak for himself before me. But he speaks in your heart, he speaks in your head, he speaks in your book, he speaks in your temple when you gather, he speaks in your church when you gather. That God is useless, my dear. I'm saying it with all knowledge, with all boldness, that that God does not exist. And you cannot disprove me, you cannot prove me wrong. You can only get upset, get angry. <laughs> but I'm good, because your anger motivates me, your stress motivates me, your rant motivates me. Although even if you don't comment on my post, I know it is, it is, it is, it is provoking you, in making you think, believing that one day your God will strike me, thunder will strike me, or bad thing will happen to me. Fuck you and all that your God. 
what there is nothing you wish that will happen to me that is not happening to me or has not happened to you or will not happen to you so whatever you are wishing is just empty wish if i put myself in harm's way it will harm me if i don't put myself in harm's way none of your prayer will make it harm me nothing no god will make it harm me but see as stupid as these people are they worship and they worry they worship a God, they believe this God can do all things. Here they worried about not having child. They worried about not having money. They worried about not having things. Basic things in life that other people don't even worship God and have. Basic things in life they have to work and have. These people are worried, they don't have it. Yet they worship God. How can you tell me your God can do all things and your prayer works? Yet after prayer... After worshiping God, you still go to work. <laughs> you are stupid. <laughs> you are, it's, it's like telling me you have a land where you will farm. But you now you are, you are going to buy a land where you will farm. The same thing you will find in your land. No, you don't have land. That's why you're going for another land. If you have land, you will at least find your own land first. Before telling me you're buying another one. Then it makes sense. But you have your own land. You have not cultivated your land. You have not done anything in your land. You tell me you are looking for a land to buy. You have money to buy a land where to cultivate and sow your seed. You are just stupid. That's exactly what you are when you worship a God that can do all things. A God that you say if you if you farm in his land or if you till in his land, he will till your own land. Then this God, you spend your time, some of you spend hours every day, daily, some daily, some maybe two times in a week, and worshiping this God. Yet after this worshiping, after this praying, after this fasting, after all this fighting for this God. This God still cannot provide for you. You have to go open your shop, open your shed, go to your uh, business places, go and work under somebody just to, uh, to provide for yourself and your family. And you tell me you know what you're doing. No, you don't. Whether it's in African spirituality or foreign religion, how can you tell me you worship a deity? A deity, what is that deity doing for you? Only to punish your enemies, the ones you use charm to punish. Only to fight for you, the one you, you do something for that deity to work. You have to invoke that deity. And you say that deity is, is doing anything for you. No. And some people will even argue that, oh, because you don't know how it works. No, I don't need to know how it works before it works. If it's, it's, I, you, can, you can't tell me I don't know how phone works. That's why it's not working. No. <laughs> Phone is working whether I know it or not, whether I buy it or not, whether I use it or not, it's working. And nobody that uses the phone will engage me in argument saying that a phone a work and phone does not work. Nobody that uses phone, you tell me, oh, you know, this a smartphone you have, you cannot do FaceTime with it. I have iPhone 12 oh, Pro, Pro 12 Mass, and you tell me I cannot do Face Mass, I mean, FaceTime, FaceTime with somebody that have iPhone. You want me to begin to argue with that person? It's the same thing you're telling me to argue with somebody that is telling me there is God. I, I wonder why some people that say they are working, they even spend some good on, to, on television to make that argument. See, if you bring me to such program, we argue. I say, okay, I'm still waiting. You say, what am I waiting for? I'm waiting for God to show up so that we can start argument. I can start argument. I cannot argue with you. You are not God. Are you a human being? I can argue with you on what maybe human being things. But you're talking about there is God. This God is alive. He's not dead. And this God has power. All powerful. For crying out loud. All powerful. What is wrong with your brain? All powerful. What is wrong with your mind? All powerful. Are you that daft that you can't think? God is all powerful. But you say you cannot see him. All powerful. He cannot show up. And you tell me to sit down to argue with Thais? I used to be Thais. I know where they are. I know what I, The only thing that I can do for them is to provoke them. Arguing with them emboldens them. It makes them think, oh yeah, I'm getting him. I'm, my prayer will work. I'm still praying for you. If prayer works, none of them will pray for you. Just as money works, they don't give you money. You have to lie to them to give you money. That's why you see pastors, priests, all these men of God, lying to them for them to give them money. I am looking for a child. You go to a deity, the, your village deity, your town deity, or you go to, you are praying, you go to altar, you are praying to God, you are praying to Mary. I'm looking for a fruit of womb. Look for a man to fuck you. That's all you need. 
You are looking for a fruit of womb. You are a woman. Your man cannot perform or give it to you. Look for a man to do it. Some of you, you say, no, I will not let another man fuck me. But you go and pay money for spam, for them to ingest spam in you, for you to have it. The one they inject in you is what? So money fuck you. The doctor fuck you. They, they still have to go through that to your body. But you have been messed up. Messed up about, against us. Messed up against nature. You don't know anything about life anymore. So when somebody like me is talking about simple things in life, you say, no, it is not possible. It's not. Oh, at my work yesterday, the guy from Nigeria, you no, know, he, he said that, he like, uh, you know, our ancestors, we were doing, I said, no. White people are the one that gave us kingship. All this chief nonsense you have. What we had, which is what natural people should have, are elders. And every family produces elders that run the land. They are the gods and goddesses of the land. Men and women. Not all this court white people gave to us, king and queen. One man will be a king of the whole town. And my own child will be bowing before her, his own daughter. Fuck that. We, my, my, my daughter. I hear my daughter bow before any other woman. I will, I will beat her up. Bow what? The man have no, no man is king over me. It, that's what is is the error they introduce us into. And many of you think, hey, that's our culture. No, it's not. It's not our kingship. It's not our culture. Chief, somebody being chief and the other not is slavery. Masters and the slaves. That's what it is. King and the subjects. And you see many of you proud of that. Yeah, we are your subject. You know, as the, as the governor of this land, you are the fa our father. We, you are stupid, you people. And you think it's a normal way of living. No, they force this nonsense on us. That's why there's no solution to our problem. There's no peace in our land. Look at all the things they gave to you. Has they given you any peace? No. Even you, are, you agree to practice them, yet no peace. Animals have peace than you. Animals are not worried about paying rent. If their system works, you won't be paying rent. That is the natural way. Paying rent is evil. And that's, you see, all of us, we're struggling. I come to work now. If I don't work and make money, I will be homeless. Although living in America, many people are homeless in America. They worship God. They say he can provide for them. Yet they worry about how, how am I going to pay my rent at the end of this year. That's why you see them involving in every evil thing just to make money, to make a living. Yet they cannot be trusted. From their, their high priest to their new, latest new member. You cannot trust anyone that believes in God. You can, that's the worst thing you will ever do. They behave like... They, no, I, I'm, I'm insulting animals to qualify them. They, they behave lesser than animals. There's, it's all, there's nothing that has breath you can use to qualify how they behave. Unless the devil, they call them in the, in the, in the Bible, or hell. They are children of hell, according to Matthew chapter 23, verse 15. That's how they are behaving. They are not behaving like human beings. How can you tell me your father is rich, but you are working under somebody? Your father is rich, but you are managing life. Your father is rich, but you are suffering. You tell me, don't worry, when I die, I will enjoy. My father has a place, a better place for me in heaven. You are stupid. And that's why you need to die. So that you can go to that heaven and find out it does not exist. Then come back and begin to tell the truth that there is no God. And prayer does not work. Nothing nothing about spirituality or religion works. I ask you, what has spirituality done for you in your village? Mention one good thing spirituality has done. It's all this festival. Let us see Benab and Kebo. Okay? We know who Papa Passport. Quick power. Your power passport. Why are you not doing it with white, white people? It's with your own people. You are doing it. Power passport. But if you come to my village, you see there's one native doctor. He's strong, making all of you bow before. That's slavery. The good native doctor is there to help people. And every family has such things in their families, in the natural world. There is something your family is helping the community with. Every family has their potentials, have their powers. After worshipping all that nonsense you call deity. After you worshipping all that nonsense you call Yahweh, Jehovah, Allah, and all that bullshit. You still go to work like every other person. You still go to hospital like every other person. Can't you see you are stupid? 
you worship and worry because you are stupid if your worship works you will not worry i pray god provide for me then i don't have to worry i realize he will provide for me if he provided ram for abraham to kill why can't he provide you say jehovah jerry that's where you took it from why is he not jehovah jerry in your own financial situation why is he not jehovah jerry in your own marital situation Oh, I'm paying tight because I want God to bless my marriage. I am giving this because I want God to do this and that for me. And you think you are wise. You are stupid. Nobody that believes in God is worthy of my time. Even if it's a nanosecond of my time. I don't want to give it to that person. And no person that believes in God that is suffering that is worthy of my help. No matter who that you can call me whatever. If you say I'm stingy, your God is worse. Because if you have a God, you don't need me to provide for you. Your God will provide for you. You hear what I said? Your God should be your provider. Not me. Not any other human being. But you know, religion is self-supported, uh, uh, you know, is, is, uh, in, in slavery camp. They are the one providing for themselves. They say it is God. No, they are the one fighting. For themselves, they say it is God. God is God that. If God is real and you worship God, you won't worry about all these things you're worrying. Although your book tell you, do not worry about what to eat, what to drink. You know it's a lie. After prayer, you are, you are standing up there worrying. And you dress up worried. You go out worried. You even come home worried. Even when you make it, you still worried. You may lose it. Oh, I may lose it. Let me save it. But he said, do not save here. Save here up there. He said, no, I am smarter than that. I'm saving here. Not according.